In this video, we're going to take a look at how you do citations in Word. Uh, Word makes it really, really easy to do citations. And there's a handful of things that we need to be able to, to do to create citations in a document. And the first one is to uh, enter the information about our source. And uh, you can do that by clicking on Manage Sources here. Everything that we're looking at regarding citations is going to be on the References tab here. And uh, what we're going to be looking at is just the stuff in this citations and bibliography group right here. Okay. Um, so uh, let's say we want a new source. Uh, there's two ways to do it. One way is click on Manage Sources and go down here and click on New. And it brings up the Create Source dialog box. And you've got a bunch of choices about what kind of source you want. Um, it's got quite a few options there. And depending on what you pick, uh, these fields down here will change so that you can enter the appropriate information. We're just going to choose book here. And the author and title and the year. Oops, I almost put this year in. 1843 in London. And there are more options here. If you uh, click on the checkbox uh, it gives you a bunch of other things that you can put in here. Um, most of the time, um, you're probably not going to need them. And actually, what it does is, uh, it, depending on what you pick up here, uh, determines what is actually visible down here. So these are the things that you're going to need most of the time if your source is a book. So uh, click on OK. If I wanted to do more, I could do more, uh, but we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Click on Close. And that's how you create a citation uh, or a source for your citations. Now, um, so after you've created the source, let's say you actually want to put a citation in. Uh, that's what this button is for. Click on Insert Citation. And if you've already created a source, uh, all of your sources will be listed here. I've only done one, so there's only one listed here. Uh, but another option is uh, add a new source. You don't have to have the source created before you uh, put the citation in. And if you do, you get this familiar dialog box that we just had up here a minute ago. And you can create another new source. We're not going to do another one. Uh, one is sufficient. So uh, click on Cancel. And uh, let's insert the actual citation now. So I want a citation from uh, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. And you notice when you pause the mouse over it, the whole thing turns gray, which is Word's way of telling you that this is something you didn't really type in. What you did instead was you put some kind of a code here and Word is actually filling in the text for you. Uh, let's say you need another citation down here. Just go to Insert Citation, pick your source, and there it is. And again, they turn gray. Now, if you want to delete a citation, uh, if you click on it, these little dots appear in this little gray box over here on the left side. And all you have to do is just click on that. It selects the whole thing. And I'm going to hit the Delete key now, and it makes it go away. So that's how you can delete a citation if, uh, if you want to get rid of it. Uh, another neat thing about doing citations this way as opposed to just typing them in yourself is that there's this little style box up here and it has a bunch of styles listed uh, probably everything that you'd ever need in a term paper and I know uh, right now what it's set on in Chicago APA is a common one uh, apparently the difference between those two is APA puts a comma between the name and the year uh, another common one is MLA, and MLA doesn't require the year, apparently it just requires um, the name. So you don't have to worry about formatting, you pick a style up here, and that will be applied to every citation that's in your entire document. Um, so let's say you've got all your citations in, you want to put a bibliography page at the end, let's do a control end to go to the end of the document. And this would probably go on a separate page, so I'm going to do a control enter right now, and now we're at the top of a new page. And let's put in a bibliography. And I think the actual content is just about the same for all of these. About the only difference is whether it says bibliography or references or works cited at the top. Uh, we're going to do works cited here. And this is what we get. And again, uh, it turns gray uh, to tell you that this is not something you typed in. This is something Word put there. And if you click on it, uh, you get the dots up there again, which is another way of selecting the whole thing. Uh, and there's also a button here that lets you update. So if if you go back and add another citation afterwards, after you've done this part, uh, it does not automatically put that citation down here. You will have to go in here and 
update it otherwise that will not appear in your works cited list down here at the bottom so just go up here and click on this now I don't have anything to be updated but if I did it would have added that down here so that's how um, citations are done in Word 2013